all of what we've just said is amazing and would be enough, wouldn't it? To just know that Christmas is about Jesus coming to buy us back and pay our debt and redeem us. But Paul says that's just the beginning of this thing. That's just the very beginning. That's just beginning to scratch the surface of the awesomeness of the Christmas story. Chapter 4, verse 5. He did all this so that we might receive adoption to sonship. Guys, I get excited about this. And I, I, I want to try to help you see why I'm so excited about this. We hear that and it sounds like old language. Okay, adoption to sonship. Oh my goodness, friends. This is mind-blowing. I don't even have words to really explain this. God wants more than just some legal pardon for your sin. He didn't want to just have this legal agreement. Okay, we paid for your sin. Now you stand over there and I'll stand over here. No. God wants a relationship with you. God wants to be part of your life. God wants a family. That's why Jesus died. Not just to pardon your sin. He pardoned your sin so that you could know Him. So that you could be part of His family. Just like my aunt and uncle said, come into our family, be part of our family, share meals with us, do life with us. We want to invest in you. We want to get to know your heart. We want you to get to know our heart. We want to do life together. God's saying, that's what I want. I want you to be part of my family. You know, to really appreciate this whole thing of adoption, you got to kind of go back and understand that first century adoption, very different than today. Very different. When we think about adoption today, we instantly think about little babies, don't we? Oh, these cute little babies. And I've never gone through the adoption process, but I would imagine that we would look at a number of children and, and learn something of their background and, you know, whatever the process is that you go through, but it's all about these little precious little infant children that we're going to adopt. First century, they didn't adopt babies. Did you know that? They didn't adopt babies. They waited who wants to adopt a baby? In, first, in the first century, they weren't worth anything. They don't produce anything. You, you're rolling the dice. You have no idea what they're going to grow up to be. This is the way they thought. We're going to wait until they become grown-ups. Then we can see whether they're worth a, a, a adopting or not. You know, if they turn out to be scrubs, I don't want them. And that's the way they thought, sincerely. And you know what it was all driven by? My stuff. This child's going to be an heir to my stuff. And if they're a scoundrel, I don't want them to have it. So I'm going to wait. And they adopted adults, young adults. And that's who they would bring into their family. But there was this whole process of, are you worthy of being adopted? So when Paul wrote this letter, and it hit Galatia, you know, sometimes we talk about things going viral, right? They hit the internet and they just, they just take off. Because everybody's so interested in this. This letter went viral. Because all of a sudden, here was this, this gospel, this proclamation that God, God, wanted to adopt us. You know, hey, old, old man Smith down the road, he wouldn't adopt me. But God will. How cool is that? He didn't think I was worthy. This group over here, they don't think I'm good enough for them. They're this elite, crusty group over there, they, they turned me down. But God said I could be part of His family. How awesome is that? Friends, this is why the gospel changed the world. Because it took people who were broken and downcast and hopeless and felt like nothing because do you ever feel like the world kind of sets up this have, have not system? And you're, if you're not part of the in group or the cool group or the elite group or the smart group or the wealthy group or whatever group we want to name... You just don't feel like you're as good as them. So you don't fit. God said, hey, 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 none of that stuff even matters to me. Do you love me? Will you trust me? Come on. I want you to be part of my family. It, it, it turned the world upside down. It changed everything at the time. It blew people away. 